Hi boys and girls. It was so wonderful seeing you earlier today at our walkthrough. Tomorrow is the first day of kindergarten and I am so excited that we'll be together for our school year. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I've been teaching a pretty long time, but every night before the first day of school, I get a little nervous and that's okay. When things are new, it's okay to be a little nervous and a little scared, but I wanna let you know that together, we are going to make sure that everyone feels safe, everyone has fun, and everyone learns a lot. Now, I wanna share with you a great story that's perfect for the night before kindergarten. And that story is called The Night Before Kindergarten. It is written by Natasha Wing and illustrated, and that's the person who drew the pictures, by Julie Durrell. Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. They tossed and they turned about in their beds, while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. In the morning it came, school starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids pose for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. I bet you guys took some pictures at home or you will take pictures at home before you come to school tomorrow. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids now. Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything is a-okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps, but where were the beds for the mid-morning naps? They colored and painted and played, Simon says, then tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. I don't think we'll be doing that. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a friend. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. Hmm, wonder what that might be. When what to her wondering eyes should appear, but some sad moms and dads who were holding back tears, their noses so sniffly, their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. And I can tell you, it is. Kindergarten is amazing. We'll be together and I am so excited and I hope you are too. 
I hope that you have a great night and I will see everybody tomorrow morning for the first day of kindergarten.